Hello, my name is Ryan Baxter, and today I'd like to show you uh, how to configure your development environment uh, for the recently released uh, IBM Social Business Toolkit SDK. Now, after you have gone to OpenNTF and downloaded the SDK uh, and uh, unzipped that download, uh, you should see a folder that looks uh, very similar to this. Um, the, the most important uh, pieces for setting up your development environment here are going to be um, the, uh, the spt.properties file in the config folder. We'll be using this uh, later on when configuring our development environment inside of Eclipse. Uh, the source folder, uh, which obviously has all the source code for the SDK, uh, so we'll be importing some of these projects into our Eclipse development environment and uh, the Tomcat folder. Since we'll be setting up uh, a, uh, a J2EE uh, development environment in this demonstration, um, we'll be using Tomcat as the application server. Uh, so uh, Tomcat comes uh, pre-configured for the most part um, as part of the SDK. So inside this Tomcat folder you'll have uh, a zip file. Uh, I've already unzipped Tomcat uh, just to save some time here, uh, but you'll just have to unzip Tomcat. Uh, to get started. Um, the first thing we need to do actually is uh, add a jar file to the Tomcat uh, lib folder. Um, the SDK uh, takes uh, uses Java Mail as a, for, for APIs for sending emails uh, and as a this release uh, Java Mail is not uh, pre-configured uh, or in part of the download uh, for the SDK because of legal reasons. Uh, so what you have to do is go out to Oracle. Uh, you can Google Java Mail, and it, the first link should be to the Java Mail site on the Oracle page, and download the latest release of Java Mail. Um, I've already uh, done that, uh, but inside that that download uh, should be uh, a mail.jar file. I've copied that file to my desktop here. So what you need to do is copy this file, and inside of the Tomcat folder in the SDK, uh, open up the uh, lib folder and just paste mail.jar in here. You can see I've copied uh, mail.jar in here now. Um, after you've done that, uh, it's time to uh, set up Eclipse. So um, go to uh, eclipse.org and you see I have it open here. Uh, and right here you can go to the download link here and uh, download the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Um, uh, the latest release should be okay. Uh, as of this video, it's uh, Juno uh, 4.2 SR1. Uh, but make sure you need the, the Java EE version uh, of Eclipse uh, in order to get all the proper tooling that you need. So uh, I've already downloaded uh, Eclipse uh, to save some time. So here I have my download. Uh, after it downloads, it will be zipped up. You just need to unzip that. And then inside there, there will be uh, Eclipse.exe. So double click, double click uh, Eclipse.exe in order to start Eclipse. Um, pick a workspace that you want to use uh, to do your, your development. Uh, I'll just uh, pick a demo SDK for now and click OK. And after Eclipse launches, uh, you can close the uh, welcome screen. And the first thing you actually want to do here is configure um, your uh, uh, Java and um, Tomcat runtimes. So go to Window, Preferences, Java, Install JREs. You want to make sure you're using a, a Java 6 JRE. Um, I already have mine installed on the machine. If you don't have one, um, you'll you'll have to uh, uh, download and uh, configure uh, Eclipse here to um, point to that JRE. The next thing is um, you need to configure um, Tomcat. So in the servers uh, menu here, um, click on Runtime Environments, and then click Add. Uh, select Apache Tomcat uh, v70 as a server and click next and uh, in the Tomcat installation directory just click browse 
And then you want to go to uh, the download of the SDK uh, that you had. And inside there, select uh, Tomcat. And this is the uh, Tomcat uh, root directory, so select that uh, inside the SDK. So depending on where you unzip um, Tomcat from the SDK, um, it may be in a different location, but I kept mine inside my uh, SDK and, uh, directory. Um, so just select the root directory of Tomcat here and click OK. And then click Finish. Okay, so we now have uh, set up both our Java runtime and our server runtime. So we can click OK and close the preferences dialog. Now what we want to do is import the projects uh, for the SDK uh, into our Eclipse workspace. Um, to do that, you can just go to File, Import, and then uh, expand the General tab uh, uh, folder and select Existing Projects into Workspace and click Next. For the root directory, click Browse and go to uh, the uh, directory where you've unzipped uh, your uh, SDK download and select the source folder and then just click OK. Now all the projects uh, for uh, the SDK will be listed in this uh, uh, in, the, in the projects directory here. Uh, but you don't need to import all of them actually and some of them uh, may not compile in your J2E uh, development environment. So we're, gonna, we're gonna unselect certain uh, ones. Um, so the first one we're gonna unselect is Acme Social Sample here, uh, also unselect Acme Social Sample Libs. Uh, the next one you don't need is uh, COM IBM SPT Libs Derby. You can unselect that. You also don't need COM IBM SPT Libs Domino. And you don't need COM IBM SPT Sample Ear or COM IBM SPT Sample Portlets or com IBM SBT sample portlets here. And after you've unselected all those, you can uh, click finish. Now you should see a list of projects in the Project Explorer view here. Uh, and Eclipse will go ahead and uh, build your workspace. After Eclipse has finished building your workspace, you'll notice that there will be um, uh, an error in your workspace. So com IBM SPT core uh, should not build uh, completely. Uh, and that's because it's missing uh, some, it's missing the dependency on Java Mail that we copied uh, earlier to Tomcat uh, directory. So to solve this problem, um, you can easily go, uh, just right click on com IBM SPT core, go to build path and configure build path. In the Libraries tab of the Java Build Path, uh, just click on uh, Add Library, select Server Runtime, and click uh, Apache Tomcat 7.0. And then just click OK. This will cause Eclipse to rebuild your workspace again. And uh, once it finishes building, you should see that you have no more errors in COM IBM SPT Core, which is good. Now, what we have to do is configure a server uh, for our um, development environment. And we obviously want to use the Apache Tomcat server uh, for the runtime we set up earlier. So go to Window, Show View, click on Other. Then in the Server folder here, I click on Servers and click OK. In the Server View, uh, click on the, the new server uh, wizard, select Tomcat 7.0, click Next, and you can select Add All to add all the projects to your Tomcat server, and then click Finish. Now you should see that you have a servers project up here in your Project Explorer. Uh, expand that, and expand the Tomcat uh, v7.0 uh, folder in there. And we need to create a new file in here. So right click on Tomcat and select New and File. In the File Name field, give the file name uh, spt.properties. And then click Finish. Now, 
head back out to uh, the download, your SDK download. And in the config folder, open that and then open sbt.properties. Select all the content, copy it, and then head to sbt.properties in Eclipse and paste it and then just save that file. So you can close this file and then just head down to Tomcat here and click debug. After Tomcat has uh, finished starting, you can open up a browser and then head to uh, the sbt.samples app and you should see, see, see this. So if you go to localhost colon 8080 slash sbt.sample.web slash samples home you should see uh, the, S the SBT uh, social business toolkit SDK samples. You can pick one of the Dojo versions. We'll pick the Dojo 1.8 version. And for example, if you head down to connections and get display name, you should see you can see Frank Adams. So we have this up and working. Um, the other sample that you can try out is uh, the Acme Airlines application. So you can go to local hosts on 8080 slash app, And you should see the Acme Airlines uh, application come up. And you can go to flights, and you should see a list of flights here. Uh, so that means your development environment is up and running. Everything seems to be working, which is good. Now, uh, for example, you can also try to put a breakpoint somewhere and see if you can debug through some code. So if I go to Acme Social Sample Data App, uh, Java Resources Source uh, Services and go to the flight servlet here and open that up and say put a breakpoint right here in the do get method and now I head back to uh, the Acme uh, Airlines application and refresh this and go to flights again you can see Eclipse will come to the front here and say that you've hit a breakpoint and you can select yes to switch to your debug perspective and you can start debugging the code so uh, you can easily you know start stepping through the code here and debugging all your code you can look at uh, the different variables and so forth and what their values are uh, pretty easily uh, so that 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 proves that your your debug environment is up and running and you can start doing development and debugging some code just good now I mentioned earlier about um, the sbt.properties file. Uh, so I said that this is that the defaults in here are um, for the IBM developer quick start image, uh, which is not available yet publicly. Uh, so at, at the current time, if you're not using the quick start, the IBM developer quick start image, you have to change some of these values. You know, for example, here we have uh, the connections URL is pointing to uh, the server. Uh, which is the default uh, domain name for uh, the IBM developer quick start image. Um, so you just have to change some of these to point to, for example, your connection server. Um, the other thing here is uh, wherever we're using uh, OAuth, uh, these OAuth keys and secrets are for the uh, IBM developer quick start image. So you'll have to create uh, keys and secrets on your IBM connections uh, for O server. Uh, in order to change these out. And same thing with these authorized URLs. They need to point to your connection server that you're using for your development environment. Uh, so there may be some extra configuration here uh, if you're using, if you're not using the IBM developer quick start image, uh, which is fine. Uh, documentation on how to do that is included uh, on the uh, IBM developer uh, uh, AppDev social business uh, wiki. Uh, with the instructions uh, for how to configure your development environment. Uh, so you can follow the appendices in, the, in those instructions for information on how to configure uh, connections if you're not using the IBM developer quick start image.
So that's a quick tutorial of how to get your development environment set up. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to ask any questions, and we'll see you next time.